it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today, this is a crazy project. It's so last minute, but I thought, oh, I should do it because you guys might find it helpful. So um, I don't know, this, per this specifically is for Michaels. You know, they're running that contest for um, reorganizing your space. So I wanted to make a sign because you're supposed to take a picture of your art room and then where you need organizing. Um, so I decided to make a sign instead to take a picture with the sign, but it's a cute Elmo sign that I thought would be cute to do, you know, for your birthday party or something like that. So it's a little big, but not huge, right? Um, and this is kind of what it looks like. It has, you know, like a white board and then you put your message on here. So let's get started on that. I'm gonna put everything aside over here. We're gonna deal with our black background like we always do with an off the map project. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side. So we know it, it's you know connected this way. So we're just gonna flip it over. Let's see if I can, I can, um, I feel like I messed this up. Okay, like this? No, see, I messed it up, hold on. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. All right, so this goes this way. Gosh, I am so bad at that. Okay, so we've got that, and this is going to be a problem because I, let's see, did I already do this right? Okay, this is already right. Okay, we're going to tape this up. So let me get my tape over. Now, when we're taping the back of this, um, we tape the back because um, the front, there's always some extra room for the black that's still not being covered um, by all the colored cardstock. So we don't want to tape from the front, we want to tape from the back. So always with the back, what I like to do is tape two at a time. You want to lift up one, push it against the other, so that you get, we're really just trying to avoid seeing the seams. So this is as good as it's going to get. You want to tape it down, then we're going to tape these two together. So again, you want to just um, push it up against the other one. Now this one's a super tiny off the mat for what you're used to seeing me do, but it's always still the same process. You want to build your grid of squares so that when you're cutting and when you're piecing together, I like that the four corners meet together. It's easy to assemble. Um, even if you're puzzle challenged like I am. <laughs> but um, it's easy to assemble, but also it really does minimize your seams. Everything's pushed up against each other. You're not gonna see the seams as much. And when we're talking about seams, we're really talking about the book. Whoa, don't mind me, my, <laughs> my little tape holder just snapped at me. Um, what was I saying? The colored pieces go on top, so we're really just talking about the minimal portions where the seam is still showing. So, and that would be definitely towards the edge, so you wanna make sure that you tape that up so it's not flapping. And I'm gonna get one more spot up here. But you wanna make sure that your tape doesn't go past your black, because you're gonna be able to see it from the other side. And clearly, from what you see here, um, you know, this tape will show through. So you definitely don't want that. All right, so we're gonna flip it over and I have my Tombow tape ready to go. This is my preferred way to tape things down. And let's just piece everything together. Again, even though this is a super, super small project, right? You can actually see everything on here. Normally you can't see, like I have to scooch things down for you to see the whole project. So this is not a huge thing, but it's always, um, it's good to have a process and to stick to it because you're gonna minimize, is it this way? You're going to minimize your seams and also just your issues. <laughs> All right, so let's, this does go like that. That's interesting, something like this. I'm not really sure, okay. So let's put all our pieces down because we want to make sure that we adjust accordingly. So even though it looks very simple, it never is, right? You want to make sure that everything is even. So something like that. That's not even. Something weird about this. It's like it's not... 
fitting properly. Let me see. Does it... Oh, it's this way. <laughs> well, it would help if I had the right side up, right? I mean, that's the nice thing about some of this cardstock is that you can tell which side is the right side up because it has the texture. So that looks much better. Okay. Then we have this coming in. So this will help us figure out a little bit too. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. Um, all right, the rest is things that are going on top, which is extra. So this is enough to get us started. And look at that red, it's so beautiful. It's like super sparkly. Um, all right, if we like everything, and I was having issues with my cutting mat, so I really needed to change my cutting mat, but I wasn't ready yet. Um, so you can see my orange, my, the nose right here, didn't cut completely smoothly. So what you can do is you can take your um, X-Acto knife or the Cricut's version and use it to kind of scrape it like this and you can hear it. And it's just pushing it back. And there you have it, okay. So let's put that down. Let's do the eyes first. So bring in your scratch paper so that we can put the glue down. And here we go. But I think this is great for a party sign because you have Elmo and he's not huge. She's not small, but he, you know, he'll look great in a picture, but you have all this, all these other elements. So you can make it really big, it'll look seamless, and um, it's still a sizable piece. So, all right, so let's look at this. Let's do the nose. Now, when I'm doing a sign, I think of it as like a cake topper. So I wanna layer it. Um, so when we get to over here with all the different words, I'm going to want to make sure that we layer everything so that it pops out. It's not going to be flat um, and that's going to help us make it look really good. So, okay, let's get this down. And you see how I put the tape down, but I'm not pressing on Elmo just yet. I'm, I mean, it's touching the black, but it's not pushed down. So I can still kind of move this around and make sure that I like where it's falling before I push down. Once I push down, then it's going to be more difficult to lift up because the tape is really good. Okay, so we've got that down. Let's look at this. Well, let's look at this. Maybe this will help us. So this goes something like, that looks about even. So what I'm gonna do with this one though, instead of, I'm gonna have it pop out a little bit. So let's use our double-sided tape, squares, the foam squares. And I'm just grabbing a bunch at a time and putting it down. That should be enough. So press down on it, make sure it's sticking. And then I hate this part. Let's see if I, it'll help with this. I hate peeling off the sticker. Maybe if I had nails, but it's the freaking pandemic. So I haven't gotten my nails done since January. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, no wait, no. I must have gotten them done in February. So not quite yet a year, but during the pandemic, I did have, I had gel nails and I did have to um, peel them off myself. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. I 
should really look at the longer pieces instead of just the the mini squares because this is such a pain in the butt okay all right so that's up so let's see <laughs> it's gonna go something like this and I'm trying to see because it's you know an even border hopefully okay so that looks about good okay so this is all down oh wait the hands not down the knuckles so let's get this down this is because Elmo is flat I'm gonna keep everything Elmo flat so let's get this down This is such a weird image to me. I don't even, hold on. I'm actually, I have this up here. Let's see what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna type it in because I think it's, I'm having issues right now. <laughs> Give me just one second to find this image. Oh my gosh. My hand was so close to the glue gun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. Let's see what it looks like. So the hand is supposed to be... Okay, yeah, so it actually does not... Interesting. Okay, it goes like this. All right. All right, so here is our board. Let's look at all our words. So. This is the back of the sign. Um, so it says, please, no, send help, please. So it's gonna go like this. So let's just turn all these over and put our foam squares on them so that they pop up. Oops, let's do it off this thing. And this is really going to help give it a very polished look. It's going to have the layers that always looks really nice on cake toppers and such. So, all right, so let's peel this. I do like, I mean, I was doing the glue, I was using my glue gun to create this space, but it didn't give me um, the height that I wanted to. It definitely helps for smaller pieces and I like it and I still use it, but when I want like a definite height, I feel like this gives it, um, this gives it to me more easily, even though I hate peeling this. We're almost there. And I am gonna put this on a foam board, um, but you can always catch that video on any of my off the mat. So even though this is a baby off the mat. <laughs> All right, so let's put this down. And again, I was telling you, I had issues with my cutting. So just grab your blade and kind of scrape it off. I need a new blade and a new mat. The thing with the new mats though is it's so sticky at the beginning so I typically like to do like a, a vinyl project first so that it does it kind of takes the stickiness away. <laughs> okay so that's on there let's get it on here as well. Oh, 
Okay. So let's do that. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me put it back on. I don't know exactly where I want to put it just yet. So let's make sure. So I have this and then I have So Michael's is kind of flat and skinny. So I'm tempted to just have it lay down like this. Oops, you can't even see it, sorry. So that's Michael's, right? And then this is going to sit on top. But you can imagine you can use this sign for, you know, Michael's turning to, or Michael turns to, and um, you can do a lot of cute things with it. You can add other characters, like print and cut. So, and you can see the more you layer, um, it just gives you more options to add things, add another color, make it all cohesive, um, and then layering, giving it that height that you need. So in this case, um, I layered the Send Help Please in Inkscape, so it had two layers, so that gives it that extra thing. Michael's was pretty flat, but I'm also going to have an arrow that points to the shelves that I need help with, and that's going to be layered as well. So you can see everything's going to kind of pop out a little bit. I did cut out these little like flourishes, you know, to kind of add to that. So we have those to put down. two extras so oops I'm not sure where they're supposed to go I don't want to make them so equal because then it looks like it needs to be perfectly even so and I don't want to force myself in that position so this to me looks good all right so I'm gonna want it maybe up here a little bit more so that's why I didn't want to put the tape on and be ready so let's put on these letters um these look thick enough that I can put a foam tape on it. So let's try it. Yep. And in my case, because I know I'm just taking one picture, I'm not too worried about it staying on. So if you were doing this for a party though, I would definitely make sure that my tape is on good, pressing down, all that good stuff. Um, so kind of just, you know, know your audience, right? Like what you're using this for. Okay, that looks a little big. But the good thing is the background is white. So let's see how bad this looks. Mm, it looks kind of bad. <laughs> I'm going to trim it off. I don't like it. Okay, so you kind of see where this is going, right? So I'm not gonna finish this because that's gonna take forever. But, you know, you just wanna tape everything down, lay it out. What I'm gonna show you now is the foam board though, because I think that's more interesting. So let's get this out of the way. Okay, so with your foam board, what you wanna make sure is you're gonna lay it on top like so and in this case what's nice is it's kind of you know it's a straight line right here so you could just do this and not cut this bottom part at all and just cut this top now he doesn't fit on completely but we don't need it to support that much i mean as long as the majority of this is supported you don't nothing's going to happen to the face hanging off right there so let's grab a white um pencil or you could do a mechanical pencil, which is what I was using, or just a pencil. I don't even know why I threw in mechanical in there. But you just wanna outline this, 
and you're gonna cut inside of the line because we don't need support all the way to the edges, right? You just need, like I said, the majority of this to be supported. So, and I'll show you in a second what that looks like. Move this over so can you see it you can see it a little bit so I'm just gonna take my um, knife and cut across I'm not even gonna cut across the fingers I'm gonna go straight over right here down do a little circle right here and come down all right so let's see what that looks like um, first thing is I'm just gonna cut this board in half so that I'm gonna cut it right through right here just so that you can see everything. So you saw how I cut it straight through. It actually cut through the fingers right here. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about it not having the support there. I'm just gonna cut down here. This is his face. So I don't want his face. Okay, and then this is a little bit wide. So, and I'm cutting inside the line so that it's not gonna show. But this is giving me, I mean, I would say 90%, at least 90% of it's covered, so it will support our sign. And then, and with this foam board, you wanna make one stroke. And then if you have to lift up, just start a new line because it's just so much smoother that way because look at my back, my back, just, my back looks really smooth, okay? And then here I just need a little bit, I need to cut in a little bit more. So that's my face. Clearly you don't recognize the, um, the image from that, but it's okay, because look. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the front. From the front, you can't see it at all, right? I'm not worried that this little extra part is coming um, is showing. It's black and your outline's black. And let me show you what it looks like from behind. So this is gonna give me the support that I want and then look at it from behind. So you can see our outline still. Let me show you what that looks like. So it's gonna look like that. There's, um, you know, it goes in a little bit here, goes in a little bit here, and this top part's not supported, but it's okay, because it's gonna stand really well. In fact, I, we can do that this first right now. So when you're putting this down, and I have my glue gun already plugged in, in this case, because it's such an easy um, shape, let me make sure it's high enough. Okay. I'm just gonna lift this up and glue this part down. So here we go. Just enough to get it down and then I'm gonna press this in. All right. So I think it's just the way I hold my stuff. I flip it back over so that I can lift this up and I'm just gonna glue this down section by section and kind of roll it down. So nothing's getting bent, it's just um, rolled up, kind of like when you do yoga and you roll down your back piece by piece, that's what you wanna do, okay? So here we go. I normally use my other glue gun for this, but I don't have it plugged in, the bigger one. I feel like this is barely getting any glue out. But it's okay because I'm doing a section at a time. And you don't need a lot of glue. You just need to make sure that it's stuck on here to give it the support that we need. So I'll show you the sign now. You can see it's so much easier to handle and I know you can't tell, but see it's propped up against me <laughs> on that screen. <laughs> All right, so now we have this. It's down. Let's work on layering everything else. So the arrows, I want the arrows to be layered. Now the white is going on red glitter, which I don't like. Um, I feel like the glue doesn't stay on as well. So I'm gonna use this 
to give me the height I want, but I'm also gonna hit it with some, some of my glue gun. I know I'm being like crazy. So let's peel that off. And I'll show you what I mean. So I did two, two pieces next to each other. So one piece is going to have glue and then one of each, okay? So I'm gonna put glue on this one and glue down just to make sure it stays. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Okay. And then this one, this way. I'm gonna put the, oop, hold on, let's see which way is it. Okay, I'm gonna put the tape on to give it the height that I want. And you see, it just gives it space that I want. So it just gives it that extra layer. Okay, so we've got that down. Let's put on where we want Michael's. Okay, start it so we're here. Um, so you can leave me here or you can see the whole thing done. This one um, depends on where, where I'm sitting. So I'm gonna let the arrow be a little bit more um, flexible and not taped on just yet. Um, so give me your feedback, let me know what you think. But this would be a great party sign. All right, so I'm gonna continue. So don't mind me, we're just gonna continue putting on the tape on each of the letters to really get it to stand out. One by one. And I like having this outline, you know exactly where the letters go. And normally I would, I hate doing a print font because then you're stuck doing each individual letter like this. Um, I prefer to do iron on, but I really just wanted the extra layers. So just keep in mind, you always have a lot of options. Um, and depending on what you're looking for, that will help you narrow down how much time you want to spend on it. Or you could have, I could have picked a cursive font, right? But I wanted this to be really legible um, and kind of stand out. So it is my own fault for, for having to put this on individually. <laughs> This one's gonna suck because I'm gonna have to trim off quite a bit on this exclamation point. Um, where's my scissors? Okay. Not perfect, but it will do. So you kind of see. And then I don't want to lift it too much because this isn't down yet, but you can see it's kind of standing up. It's going to give it a lot of personality just to have that much space. Okay.
And these phone um, stickers, they really do keep the letters um, parallel, like balanced. So even though on this end, I'm putting it on one side, it will st the whole letter will stay up. It's not gonna fall down. Almost there. So I am using, this is actually all Cricut paper. So the red glitter, the white cardstock, and the orange cardstock. So the orange, what's funny is to me, it's sort of orange with a yellow tint. So if you can see behind me, Big Bird, it's the same orange here. So it's sort of yellowy orange. <laughs> And I had just finished that, so I thought the nose would be cute. I kind of like the colors. It's very playful. But it made me realize that I need to shop for yellow cardstock. I don't have a lot of yellow. I don't have any yellow, I should say. Okay, so this is all done. I guess we can put this down. So I'm going to, oh man, peel all this off. I hate this. Okay. Ah, I keep peeling off the whole thing. there okay here we go oh so now you can see though you see how it gives you that extra layer I also like picking fonts that aren't straight so that way it doesn't look weird when it's a little off it's just meant to be you don't have to make it perfect so all right Assuming that I like, let's straighten this up so that I can see. So this looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it up here so you can't see it that well. But I'm just gonna run my tape over it and put it down. Okay, so with this though, I don't know if you can see, it reminds me, I always say, it reminds me of like kind of like a spider web. So you just wanna push the webbing out of the way because you don't want it to show against the paper. So that's down. This little, um, I don't know what you call it, is it a tittle? That little dot for the eye. So you can use, um, this is the We Are, Memories, uh, we Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick. This side is tacky, so I'm just gonna pull this up like this. Put a little bit of glue on. And then dot it down. So I would have had a hard time picking that up. So there you go. So that's down. Let's get this down. Same thing with this piece. You just want to grab a little tool to push all the glue. It's much easier to do it here than it is to do it after it's on the on the paper. Okay. 
get the end down. Oh my gosh, the end is near. Okay, so this one I can see a little bit of stuff. So you can see the sign. I still want to add the arrow, of course, and then I also want to add the little flaky accent marks. But that's all that's left. I hope that was helpful on how to put things together. Um, give me your feedback and let me know. And if you have a special project, let me know as well. You can post the comments here. If you need to send me a file, it's an, an at the uselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys.